Hello ladies and gentlemen, in today's video I'll show you how you can create this awesome infographic dashboard with clickable slide zooms. So let's go! Alright my friends, so let's jump into the world of PowerPoint and today I'm working on Windows and using PowerPoint Microsoft 365. And let's say that we have a couple of beautiful infographic slides and we would like to present these infographic slides, but we would like to present them in a new interesting way because the traditional way is to present slides one by one, but to make it more fun and innovative we could use this kind of dashboard slide with clickable slide zooms. So let me show you how this dashboard slide works. By clicking on any of these colorful rectangles you can zoom into a specific infographic slide. And once you click again you zoom back to your dashboard slide. So this is definitely an interesting and dynamic way to present your infographic slides. So let me show you how we can create this dashboard slide step by step. By the way you have probably noticed that I have already inserted a couple of infographic slides so that we have some slides to work with. And I want to say huge thanks to Infographia for providing these awesome slides sponsoring today's video and supporting OneSkill channel. Infographia is a website where you can find tons of professionally designed infographics, to be precise more than 3500 infographics that seamlessly work with PowerPoint, Keynote and Google Slides. What I really like about Infographia templates is that they are super easy to customize. You can easily insert your own Excel data into charts and charts will automatically update. You can easily edit all of the infographics because they are all 100% vector shapes and you can easily change all of the colors to match your needs. What's awesome is that when you register you get a lifetime access to all of the current infographics and as well you get lifetime updates, which means that all of the infographics added in the future will be free as well. So definitely check out Infographia at infographia.com, link is in the video description. Currently you can get unlimited access to more than 3500 infographics just for $49. Thank you Infographia once again and now let's continue with the video. Alright my friends, so let's actually delete this dashboard slide so that we can create it from scratch step by step. Let's go to the top of the slide list, let's hit enter to insert a fresh blank new slide. And now we can use the rectangle tool and insert as many rectangles as we wish. And this way we can easily create a dashboard slide. You can use as many rectangles as you wish. Those rectangles will uh, represent different slides or different uh, slide sections. I would say the main challenge here is to keep those gaps between the rectangles equal. You can always go to view and activate smart guides. They will help you out. But since today Infographia is helping us out, so let's just use one of their beautiful dashboard slides. Let me just jump to their dashboard slide template. Here it is. And now we can use this slide as a starting point. So let me just copy this slide, hit Ctrl C or Command C to copy. Uh, let's get back to our presentation. Let's go to the top of the slide list and let's paste this slide. As you can see those rectangles have automatically adapted to our color palette. That's awesome. Now let me just quickly clean up this slide. I'll delete all of the content that we don't need. We will basically use just those rectangles and those text boxes. So I'll catch you in a second. Alright, so the rectangles are ready and now let me show you how we can insert those slide zooms. As you can see we have slide zooms and we have section zooms. Slide zooms are useful when you have only one slide that you would like to zoom in and zoom back and section zooms are useful when you want to zoom in, show three or five slides and only after that zoom back. So for that you would have to use section zooms. But in this case we will stick with slide zooms. So let's just click on slide zoom and let's pick a slide that we would like to zoom into. For example slide number 2. Let's click insert. And here we have our first slide zoom. Congratulations! Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now we can reposition this slide zoom according to our taste. And as well we can jump to zoom options. We can check this checkbox return to zoom. And now let me show you how it works. So once we click the first time we zoom in. And once we click again we zoom back. And this would be pretty much it if you would like to use these simple looking slide zooms. But let me show you how you can customize these slide zooms. As you remember from the intro of this video I have inserted some icons or fragments of infographics to each of these rectangles. So let me show you how we can make that happen. 
So all we have to do is to pick an icon or a fragment of infographic that would represent a specific slide. So for this inside slide, I think this hexagon with letter A looks really good. So let's just copy it and let's paste it to our dashboard slide. And now let's make sure that this hexagon and this letter A has the same light blue color as this first rectangle. And now once again, let's go to insert zoom and let's insert a slide zoom for slide number two. Okay, let's position the slide zoom. Let's make sure that return to zoom option is activated. That's good. Let's make sure there is no outline. But as you can see, this slide zoom covers our beautiful letter A. And for this reason, we'll be using something that I call an invisible slide zoom. And if you have been following this channel for some time, you might know what invisible slide zoom is. But if you don't know what it is, let me show you. So first, let's insert one more rectangle. We can make it smaller. Now let's go to the fill options of this rectangle. Let's make sure that this rectangle has a fill, but the transparency is set to 100%, which basically makes this rectangle invisible. And now we can right click on this rectangle and save it as a picture. And make sure that you're using PNG format because PNG will make sure that we save the transparency of this picture. All right, and now we can delete this invisible rectangle. All we need is that invisible picture. So let's uh, position the slide zoom here on this light blue rectangle once again. Now let's go to zoom options and let's use this option change image. And let's use this invisible picture, okay? And as you can see now, the slide zoom is transparent and we can see that uh, beautiful hexagon with letter A behind it. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen, you have created your first custom slide zoom. Now let me finish creating these custom slide zooms for the rest of these beautiful rectangles. And I'll meet you in a second. Now let me slow down here and show you how you could create this awesome KPI chart. So for this arrow, all we need is a small circle and this small triangle. By the way, this chart is editable, but for our dashboard slide, we will keep it simple and use simple shapes. So let me just copy that arrow to our dashboard slide. Let's hit Ctrl V to paste. That's awesome. Now let's move this arrow over the green KPI rectangle. Let's give this arrow a white fill and we can union this little circle with this little a triangle into one shape. That's awesome. And now for this uh, top part of this KPI chart, we could use uh, this special shape that's called block arc. Let me just find that shape. Here it is, block arc. Let's select it. And now just click and drag to draw a block arc. All right. And now let's make sure that this block arc has no fill, but let's add a white outline. Okay, let's add a little bit of width, three points. That's good. And now let's make sure that we move this arrow a little bit upwards and let's make sure that this arrow and this block arc are center aligned. That's good. And now we can make uh, one more copy of this block arc by holding down the Control and Shift key. And for this copy, let's make sure there's a uh, solid fill, white solid fill with transparency of 50%. And let's make sure that it has no line. Okay. And now let's align it with the original at the top, just like that. And now we can use this little yellow handle to adjust how much we want to see of that, uh, you know, semi-transparent block arc. And this way we have created this custom and beautiful symbol for our KPI slide. That's awesome. Alright my friends, so all of the custom slide zooms are ready and now we can check out the final result on the full screen. Congratulations, now you know how you can create this awesome infographic dashboard with clickable slide zooms. Thank you for watching, stay happy, stay healthy and I'll see you on my next video.